sometimes when you connect an external hard disk to your computer, you notice that you are unable to access some files. It happens when the files were created on another system and if the file system on the hard drive is NTFS. Unlike FAT32, NTFS has an additional feature which enables it to define specifically which users are allowed to access certain files and folders on the volume. For example, if I try to open this one, it says that I have no permission to access this folder. If I go here, then it works properly. Here is what is happening. If you examine the properties of the disk and you switch to the security tab, you can see the ACLs, the so-called access control lists, which define which user group or specific user is allowed to perform specific actions. In this case, you can see that everyone can have full control of this object. For this folder, the situation is different. If you switch to the properties tab, you notice that you don't even know its file size because your user is prohibited from exploring the contents of this object. If you switch to the security tab, you will see that you can't, can't even observe the owner of the object and every other feature is disabled. Here is another example, another folder. Let's switch to the security tab, advanced owner. The current owner of this folder is not a username you can recognize. Usually when you see such a thing, it means that the folder was created on another system. This identifier corresponds to a user on another Windows machine. Uh, in this case, it doesn't matter that the owner of the object is somebody on a different system because the everyone group has full control of the entire disk E. So in order to overcome this problem, we have to do several things. The first one is to take ownership of the object. In Windows Vista and in Windows 7 and in any other version of Windows beginning with 2000, you have to have administrative rights in order to do that. And as with Vista, you will also have to go through the UAC dialog to allow this operation to continue if UAC is enabled. Um, you must be an administrative user, blah, blah, blah. So let's click continue and allow this operation. You can see that the current owner cannot be displayed, but what we can do is change the owner to some user or a group on the current machine. So let's choose this one and replace, and replace the owner of subcontainers and objects. We will have to accept this. And as soon as we are the owners, we can begin to make other adjustments. So now we can see that the security tab has a list of actions and the rules for those actions, whether they are allowed or denied. And we can add another group Let's choose the everyone group. And for this group, indicate that all the actions are allowed. Press OK to confirm that. OK. And now you can see that I can observe the file size. And the security tab becomes visible instantly because everyone can have full control of the object. If I want to do so, I can uh, indicate other rights for other users by pressing 
the edit button. So I can choose a user, uh, for example, non-admin. Okay. And for this user, I wish to prohibit all the right access except reading files. So you see just these checkboxes are enabled, apply, and so on. Now I can enter the folder without any problems and I can see which files are inside of it. So to sum things up, first of all, we became owners of this folder. And second, we had to adjust the access control lists to make sure that our user or a specific group present on this machine is allowed to make changes and have full control of this directory. As soon as that is done, you will be able to access the folder, its contents and make any changes inside of it within the rules you have set.